everybody, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 223. I went to visit a group of cardiologists this week and help them with some pivot tables to build charges and collections. We're going to do a bunch more things after that. And when it's time to do the same thing for your practice, let's talk. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to take up where we left off last time. You remember we were playing the page layout tab and went all the way through print area. We did these four icons. We're going to start with the page breaks icon today. And let's assume for the sake of argument that we've got enough data that maybe it goes, oh, page and a half or so. And so you print one page and it's full and then the second page has a few lines on it. And so, you know, it'd really be better if I had kind of half the data on each page and put a page break in between. Here's how to do that in Excel. Let's say that I want the page break right after, in honor of the old 76 years guy, Dr. J. We're gonna put a page break right there. The way page breaks work, if you click on it, you can insert a page break. Or, you know, before I click, let me just hover over it and show you. It'll say, hey, page breaks are inserted above and to the left of the selection. So this is where I, right where I want it. I want to be right below the page break. And then when I go here and insert a page break, then I've got a page break so that A through J prints on the first page and K through M prints on the second. And these little hyphens are going to help me see that I've got a page break there to make that work. Second thing I want to show you in today's video is this background tab. If you want to get fancy and do something besides a white background, these little grid line cells or whatever, you can click background. And I've got um, this ocean set up, which comes from, it's the waves behind my videos. See those going on? And so you can make a background to your spreadsheet and make it you know, kind of fancy if you want. What uh, the trick to it is, you may want to make these uh, pictures a little bit opaque so you can see the numbers in front of them. If the picture is too strong and too bold, you won't be able to see the numbers going on with the picture. But you can put a background there, and if you click there again, it'll toggle it off and delete that background like that. You can put it on, and delete will take it off. Let's talk for a minute about print titles. What print title says is, hey, now this is going on two pages now. Nate, I've got you know Dr. A through J here, Dr. K on down here. What I really want is some print titles so that when I print on the second, well, let, let's, um, let's do a couple of things just to make this easier. Let's go through and I'm going to click on, well, let's click on page or print preview. See, it's going on to four pages. And so let's fix it so that um, we want it to all the columns on one page. So there we go. Now I've got all the columns on one page. And I've got Dr. A through J, and I've got that all looks good. That works. Now I'm down to two pages. Everything looks good until I get to page two. And I can't tell, okay, now is that January or February? Where do my months start? I can't remember what month I'm on. It would be really nice to have this heading on page two. The way to do that from the page layout tab is to use print titles. And what print titles will do is you can either put rows that you want to repeat at the top or columns that you want to repeat at the left. And what these rows are is rows that will print on every single page or columns that will print on every single page. We want these top three rows right here to print. So I'm going to click on the red arrow. We're going to select rows one, two, and three and hit enter. And let's use the print preview key here. So now you can see, hey, there we go. January through September, I can tell what my months are. But when I click here, I still got cut, copy, paste, and select whatever my heading is here. 2,000 new patients by month. But see, now I can see doctors K, L, M, N, January, February, March, because I've got print titles that are printed on every single page. Let's go back to page layout. That's what I wanted to show you today, how to do a page break. And by the way, if you click here and want to remove a page break or reset all the page breaks from the same menu, whoops, to create. Now we're back to create a page break. You can turn a background on or off like I did with my waves. And you can do print titles so that every page you print either has the same, number, same rows at the top or same columns at the left. So that as you get into larger print areas, you can still tell what column you're talking about. Those are the three things I wanted to show you today. Stay tuned. We'll keep going on printing next time. Thanks for watching.